How are we gonna start this video? Oh, I got it. So as we all know, the iPhone 13 Pro will wipe the floor with the Pixel 6 Pro every single day of the week <laughs> and in every single situation. But this guy over here, he wants his good name and his new phone dragged through the mud in a blind camera comparison. I don't know what his problem is, but this should be fun, right? So you just got that phone a couple days ago. Just got it, been playing around with it. Feels great, looks great. But we'll see how uh, how badly it destroys the iPhone. Oh, I see. So what we did was uh, we gave these two phones to our lovely partners, Carrie and Beth, and they went around the Canmore area shooting a whole bunch of different types of photos. We kind of made up a bit of a shot list for them that we felt would cover the full range of what the cameras can do, all their three lenses. Beth came back here and she made up some blind spreads where we're not gonna be able to know which one is which, and then we'll hit the next button and it will be revealed which photo from which camera phone we liked best. Apple fanboy, Google fanboy, none of that matters. It just comes down to actual picture quality and nothing else. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well then let's go. So you and Carrie went out last <laughs> night to get some night shots. Wow, that's, yeah, we we're did. starting off with a bang here, hey? Look at the so, quality. So both of these, I mean, this must've been pretty dark, hey? Uh, like it was, dark. so it was pitch black. Oh. Um, we couldn't see, we could barely see the bench itself. Wow, so in reality, this was, this is pretty amazing, especially considering you can see there are lights in the back, like what are those, like houses? Yep, yep. The lights in the back aren't even like blown out. You could see on the right-hand image, there's a little bit of, uh, Lens flare? There's a bit of lens flare, yeah. Even though both of them look like pretty poopy, um, as far as like a smartphone image that like if, if we were to just like take a shot and I wanted to post it onto Instagram or something, I would choose the left one. And I would agree. Yeah. You ready to see which one's which? Yep. Oh, look yep. at that. That's interesting. It is interesting. The Pixel did do a better job of uh, really showing detail where the iPhone showed nothing. Um, nothing? I think they said there was like three night shots and then we're gonna get into like daytime are, stuff. Yeah, right, Okay, right. sweet. Well, this is pretty different. They handled this very, very differently. Oh, yeah. So it seemed like the one on the right took a much longer exposure as its sort of base exposure. The one on the left, right. there's just, there's zero detail. There's no detail. I'm not detail. saying it looks bad. I think considering what you wanna focus on in this photo, I think it looks quite nice. It looks, it looks good. But um, if you wanted that detail. But the run in the right has so much detail. So I'm gonna zoom in, I zoom just wanna in. see. Whoa, look at the difference in like sharpness in the buildings though, hey? Oh yeah, that's true. So maybe that longer shutter speed just made it just a touch less sharp. This is amazing. This is actually mind blowing. From a smartphone. <laughs> considering it's from a smartphone. Uh, I like the one on the right better. For me, I like the left. Oh, there we go. We stuck to our teams on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also keeping track. So once we get to the very end, we can like see who, which one won overall. Okay, next up. All right, into the daytime. Okay. Oh, this was a, this was taken with the wide lens or so the main, the main highest quality camera for both of them. Wow, the color is very different. The exposure is very different. Very different. Look at the, the, lack, I guess, of detail in the trees in the distance. You can actually see some of the better texture in the mountains that are pretty far. On the left. On the one on the left. Um, I think I would have to go with the left one. I would I would go left as well. All right. Oh, Ooh. Pixel 6. Okay. Look at that. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. There Time we go. to switch. Well, those are two. They're very different. <laughs> Yeah. They're very different. Very different. Um, was there something with the Pixel 6 where it automatically cropped in a bit? Oh yeah, it, it crops in automatically. So I guess we know which one's which there. So let's just analyze. Actually, let's just find out right away. Well, let's let's see what we do like that. Let's, let's analyze it a little further. So I'm a sucker for long lenses. When it comes to lots of image compression, I just, I, I love it. But at the same time, I can just switch to the other lens on the iPhone and it's not a digital crop and it would look great. Like it would have that same sort of look. Um, so it looks to me that the pixel is over sharpening. I think the one on the left looks too crunchy. Well, I like the detail that I'm seeing on, on the left. A bird just hit the window in the back. <laughs> He's okay. Oh, oh no, no another one. one. He's okay, everybody. I just saw him <laughs> fly away. Everything's fine. I can see some kind of facial detail that I can't on here. Right, but at the same time for a flattering portrait, I think this is too crunchy. 
they've overdone it on the sharpening in my in my opinion. Oh, you know what's interesting? What's there. interesting is between her, yeah. Overall picture quality and something that I could crop in later or if I could just change the lens or whatever, I would go the one on the right. I can always sharpen the image more if I wanted to, but you can't really unsharpen an over sharpened image. Right. And as a just average user, I wouldn't be doing any post editing. Right. I would go with the one on the left. All right, let's hit the button. Okay, yeah, no surprises there. The right was the iPhone 13 Pro, the left was the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, wide lens, normal mode, so not portrait. Okay. Wide lens, normal mode. So the main camera. Yeah. Wow, really big difference so for different. distortion Holy. too. If you see her face on the left, there's definitely some wide angle distortion going on there. And yet her face is pretty much in the same place in the frame. One of them is a little bit wider, it seems. Yeah. And this is also the it's natural bokeh right. as well. So there's no portrait mode. There's definitely a little bit more blur on the one on the left, more background blur. Look at the detail on her teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep zooming, enhance. <laughs> enhance. I'd pick the one on the left. Yes. Nice. Excellent, but the that one, is surprising. It, is, it looks much better. It's really surprising though, because of how much more the shadows are brought up. Only going from what I've heard of yep. like how the Pixel 6 Pro is, is juicing up the shadows a lot more. Okay, uh, we both said that one, so it's iPhone. Wow, Ooh. very different again. Look at the difference in color, that's crazy. Wow. And this is a outdoor out ultra wide. So this is the ultra wide lens from both of them. We, Carrie and I walk by this every day. The one on the left looks more true to life. I don't feel like the white balance is all that great on it, but maybe, I mean, if you look outside today, it is pretty miserable and blue out there. It so is. maybe it's closer, but it definitely tried to save more highlights in this shot. Nobody's really planning to go to work on these images. And so if I were to pick one that I wanted to snap, get a decent photo and then share it to uh, social media, I would pick left. I would pick left as well. Oh, oh. interesting. Interesting. Time, time to switch phones. You said that the last time. I'm gonna say it Just every time. <laughs> Just hold on. Oh, I like that branch better. So I'm changing my answer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> see, now we get to see like how it handles basically like point source lights. And so you can see those tiny little lights up there and how they're interacting with the lens. So first off, we live in a magical, magical age because even just a couple of years ago, those tiny little little pot lights up there or track lights would look horrible. Once they would have these big streaks and it, it was just awful. And so to see them handling this, especially this is, yeah, this is ultra wide. Yeah. To see the ultra wide handling it this well, super impressive from both phones. You have to Do pick I have one. To pick? You have to pick I one. I can't just say both? No, no. Left. I am going with right. Boom. Tied. Tied. Okay. As you called Stuck it. Stuck with our teams on that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. What is what happening is here? What is going on? I'm not, I don't need to analyze further. I'm going right. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. so this one is tele-lens portrait mode. What is happening with the one on the left? I don't know what is happening on the left. It is terrible. <laughs> whatever, like, whatever phone that is, I don't think that's, like, that phone crapped the bed on this one. Like, yeah. it. It had a brain fart. We don't need to look um, any further. It's the one on the right. One on the right. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what the pixel yes. did there. There's something it's like it's half baked. It's it's almost like strange. Uh, okay, so that was for the iPhone. Wowie wow wow. That's a really terrible yeah, phone. That's, you have. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, okay, next up. Again. What is this? This is know. Tele Lens this is landscape. Wrong, this is wrong two photos. I mean, I th I don't think it is. The left is a clear winner. Let's see what let's see what we got. Well, clearly the left is yeah. the winner. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. What's don't going know on, what's boy? going on. This what's, last two photos sabotage. Oh man. Hey, I wasn't even there. I was just wanting to see if like a bird took a dump on your camera or not, but no, <laughs> no, it's clean. Uh, all right, now we're downtown Canmore. This is the Tele Lens Street View. This is really close. And totally. the last three to four have not been that close. No. Although I think I like the pink of the building the, on the one on the, the right a little bit more, I think I would go with the one on the left. I like the pink and the yellow image. actually of the sign a bit yeah. more on Me too. the right. 
It is crazy. Like I can see that guy's shirt. He's a block down. <laughs> All right, which one are you choosing? I'm choosing the one on the right. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. I switched. That's really surprising wow. actually, because look at the white balance. I felt that this one was warm, more warm, which is what the iPhone's been doing. And also the exposure is brighter, which is also what the iPhone's been doing. But now it's flipped. It's flipped. Interesting. But yeah, more detail on the iPhone. And I did like the colors better on it, but overall I liked the Pixel 6 more. So I right. guess it's a tie. That's a tie. Very unnatural tie. Don't feel great about that, but. Whoa, <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? So this is a macro. Oh, this is the macro shot, which which the Pixel doesn't have a macro function. No, you just go to the 4X. So you have to go to the 4X. Get nice and close. Yeah. So these are two very differently presented images. Yeah. I mean, as far as like a cool artistic shot, the right looks great. And as far as like just representing what's happening, the one on the left, right. even though I think it's maybe a little bright. It's, there's a bit too much blurring happening to the one that, on the right. That's pretty wild. That looks like it's an effect that was like put yeah, on to it. Yeah. I might go left on this one. I'm gonna go left as well. But I would bring the exposure down. I feel like it's too bright. All right. Oh. And you know what? I had a feeling that was the pixel because that looks much more like a, you know, a telly shot. Right. Right? Right. But, uh, oh, that was really, all right, pixel. Oh, okay. so this one's titled Selfie Soulmates. Okay. Selfie Soulmates. Let's see. They're quite different. Yep. Again. Right. The right looks better. The white balance is better. It handled their faces better. Because the one on the right, so when we're talking about just like a selfie image, two people hanging out, the one on the right looks happier. And so I would go with that one every time. The one on the right looks great. Right. You're seeing, you're seeing it all. You're seeing. Both chose right. Okay. Nice. iPhone 13. Yeah iPhone definitely did the selfie cam I better. Team. Selfie portrait, uh, both in like sort of like the portrait mode for the selfie camera. I'm not super impressed with either of these for color. For general look, I think I would go left. It looks like the one on the right. The one on right. the right has better, I think the, the AI has done a better job on the edge. Yeah, especially if you look at the little pom-pom on and the back. And the pom-pom. I'm going to go with the one on the right. All right. I chose left, you chose right. Okay. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Interesting. Skin tone. Skin tone test. Wow, that's very different. Whoa. Holy moly. Okay, I I must say. I must say it must have been cold out there. First right? of all, it was cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the left is definitely, I that's, that's not my skin color. And that's not Carrie's skin color. And I do not like the one on the left. And you can you can see more of a difference. So like Carrie is pretty fair skin. Yeah. And you have darker skin. And the one on the left, it almost just kind of tried to even it out. Whereas the one on the right, like you said, that you can yeah. actually like that's how your guys' skin tone looks. I am I am that much darker than Carrie. Yeah. I I would take the right, when I first saw the, I immediately saw the left, I'm like, that is not me. That is not Carrie. Like, yeah. I would never pick the one on the left. Yeah. I okay, really, so I, I think I, your nipples are represented better in the one on the right as well. <laughs> oh, much better. <laughs> Look at the detail on that left nipple. Lives go. up to the hype. What? That's just skin one photo. Tone. It did a great job no, on that. I mean the hype about the skin tone. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, gotcha, yeah. Even in the Pixel event, they, they spent half hour. They spent a long time on that, yeah. Section so and, I was expecting big things. And they did a great job. I have never seen a phone do this well of a job on skin tone. Yeah. So great nice. job, Google. All right, last <laughs> photo. This one says zoomed in. Okay, so this was okay. at, this was at maximum Digital Maximum zoom. So yeah. one camera got put onto 4X and then digitally zoomed in all the way. Yeah. The other camera got put onto 3X and digitally zoomed all the way. Right. A hundred percent more detail on the one on the right. I'm going with the one on the right. Same. There you go. No surprise. There. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, it's starting with 20 a times, zoom. 20 times zoom, digital zoom on the Pixel Pro. Yeah. All right, let's add up some numbers. Let's add this up. Okay, we've so got, we got let's let's count the eyes. One. Five iPhones. And then we've got one, two, three, six, six for the So for you're the switching. Pixel. <laughs> for the All pixel. right. 
We're uh, ordering you a pixel. And then, how many? hold on, how many ties do we have? Seven ties. Which really tells you something yeah. about these phones. Like, you know, we we were undecided. It was really close on, on a lot of them. All right, well, there you go. And you know- They're both really good. You've got a completely different perspective because you've got a pro photographer, ex-photographer and videographer's perspective. Okay, well that was the blind camera test. Um, I am going to say that I'm still the winner. My phone is still the winner because it didn't screw up three times throughout the test. Very consistent. Consistency. Consistency is key, everybody. But you know what? I did end up liking a few photos yep. from that phone. They both do a really great job and you can't really go wrong. Pick your ecosystem and be a jerk about it. <laughs> well, make sure you subscribe because we are going to be doing a long-term review of this phone, the iPhone 13 Pro and... And I'll be doing a long-term review of the Google Pixel 6 Pro. That's right, including a full review of this laptop as well. We got so much coming. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Thanks for watching, cheers. Glad you're switching to the Pixel. <laughs> ah.